Okay, so this is the PCB board here. And this is what we're going to uh, attach everything to. And as I rotate this around, you can see uh, manufactured by K. Koba. And that's his website. You can see there's the high and low ROM, but what goes on this board is actually the sockets. And so anyway, um, what we have to do is there is a little chip that we have to put on here. It's a surface mounted chip. This ought to be a lot of fun because I'm going to have to look through this through the iPhone here uh, because I don't have a microscope. So anyway, uh, if you look at this, um, this gives us the direction of it there. So anyway, so that's it right there. And then what I have to do is the, um, since there's no notch in this thing, that little circle right there, that's indicating uh, the proper orientation. So that will go, that's got the circle and this will go in this orientation here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get this ready to solder up and uh, be back in a moment. This little surface mounted chip, we gotta mount it up here. So you see the little notch there or a little circle and that corresponds with that. So that tells us that we have it facing the right way and I'll tell you, this is going to be fun to solder. Get it on the pads here. Okay, so we finally got this um, little surface mount of chip on there, and it's without a microscope, this is very, very hard to do. I'm using my iPhone here. I'm using my iPhone to zoom in on it. And so anyway, um, we do have that on there. So now we can go to the next part where we actually start putting all these uh, header pins on it. And so, yeah, so we're going to uh, do that. So the next thing we're supposed to do is take these pins and break them into uh, 14 rows each. And we should have four of them here. So that's what we're gonna do. And I finally got my, uh, I finally got my regular flux in so I don't have to use the other stuff. So I actually went through and retouched it up a little bit there. So yeah, so we're going to make some pins here. This is also the uh, the header that we have to put on it too for the uh, wires there. But we got everything here. So it says to snap these off into 14 row links. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so we have our four headers pins all cut down and so basically what's going to happen is this this is what's going to go into the uh, the high and low ROM sockets and so what we're going to do is we will take the sockets here to stick these headers in there to align them so we can tack them down to the board there so that's what we're going to do here and you notice here on this here, and let me point to it here. I'll use this little piece of wire here to point to it. So if you're putting this 
Rominator in a 512, you have to be careful which pins you're, you're using. So we're putting it in a, a Mac Plus. So we use that row. And then, uh, then we use the, um, where it says all here. Okay. The pins there. So the plus is going to go here. Strip will go there. Another strip will go there. And where it says all, pins go there. And all goes there. So yeah. And then uh, we'll get those uh, ready to solder up. And to note that on these pins also, um, there's just a, they're pretty much the same, but there's just more of a step on the bottom of one side. And that's the one that goes on the uh, circuit board. So I'm sorry, I'm not getting a very good uh, picture of this here. Kind of blurry. But we roll it over this way here. You'll see how those look different there. Okay. That's actually the, the socket side. This side is what goes down on the board right here. So you have to pay close attention to that there. Okay, so I got the sockets uh, pressed on here. And all this is just going to keep it all the pins oriented right as far as, as far as soldering it up. So anyway, there we go. So now we can start soldering all this here. I'm just going to make sure it's all down here. Uh, I'm going to keep it pushed down here so it, uh, we don't have any issue here. So we're going to get this ready to solder. We'll do uh, one row and this row, and then we'll flip it and do the other row. Okay, so we got these uh, pins soldered in here, and looks pretty good. There's a couple I have to touch up here. There's a little light on it here. So let me go back and hit a couple of these here. That's why you have to kind of get and look at it just that are lighter. There's a couple of them don't have any solder on them. So let me go back and touch these up. I'll be right back. Okay, now, so what we need to do now is we need to put the sockets on this board on the opposite side here and some of these pins you have to trim because of these little cross members here and so basically what you want is when you put this on let me just get one on here you want it sitting flush all the way down on the board you don't want it rocking and that's why you have to uh, trim that a little bit. So I already trimmed them and they fit really good. And then let's pop the other one on here. And this is what it'll look like when these are soldered on. So yeah, and then you want to make sure the little notches are facing up that way. 
and this is what's going to plug into the uh, when we pop the original ROM out of the Mac Plus this is going to take its place in the new ROMs go up here so we're going to solder these in and then we will continue so we'll get this all set up here Okay, so we got the sockets all soldered down. Uh, it's uh, I just ran some alcohol on it to get some of the stickiness off, but I will give it a good cleaning here in a bit. Once we get all the uh, jumpers and everything on it, we'll give it a real good clean. Uh, but yeah, so they're stuck all the way down on the board like they're supposed to be, just like that. It'll look all nice and pretty when it's all uh, cleaned up here. And like I said, this is goes down on the logic board when we pull the high and low ROM out of the plus this goes down in there and then the new ROM goes on top here so now what we're going to do is we need to put some jumper wires here and we need to put the header on it here so let's do that now on this one uh, on the 512k uh, you have to use all four of these pins here because there's four different uh, wires that go to the processor although on the Mac Plus we only need three and the one that we don't need is a 17 we need the um, let me get it up to the right thing here there we go so we need the RW we need the A19 and we need the A18 but we do not need the A17 for the Plus so what we're going to do is we're going to solder that header in here. And since we don't need the one pin, I will probably just uh, cut it off here. All right, so we uh, cut this down and it's going to go on there just like that because we don't need A17. Okay, so we have the power header put on here. And like I said, RW, R19, R18. And that's what's going to supply the power to this uh, rominator. So now the next thing we're going to do is we need to put a couple jumpers on here. All right, so went ahead and we got our jumpers on here, right there. Uh, you'll see it says Mac Plus Common. Plus Common. Now if it was a 512K, it would be 512 and then Common, but since uh, we are Mac Plus, we have these jumpers in the right spot there. And obviously we have a lot of cleaning to do here, get all the flux off the board to make it look nice and pretty. But basically, uh, what we're ready for next 
is we're actually going to start wiring it up to the uh, CPU. And then uh, we'll we get the uh, three connectors here. Okay, so we got our board all nice and washed up here. Went to a nice alcohol bath. It's all nice and pretty. All the solder joints look good. And yeah, looks pretty good there. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is we need to go to the next step. So the next step is um, we marked the pins on the processor here. And so what we have to do, this is a diagram of the 6800K processor. So we have to use three pins. We have to use pin nine, which is the RW. Then we have to use a 19 and a 18. And this is a Mac, this is a Mac Plus, so we only need the three wires. If it was a 512K Mac, you have to use the four wires. So, I've already marked the pins here. So we have pin nine, that's the RW pin. And then this is the uh, pin 19 and pin 18. So we already got that marked. And I double counted to make sure I got them in the right spot. Now, before we even do that, what we have to do is we have to take off these two ROM chips. And the reason being is when we put that board down on there, that's going to kind of dictate how long our wires need to be. We don't want too much wire uh, floating around on there, but we'll, we'll see how it works. We might leave the whole thing. We'll just see how it works. And then I'll have to uh, obviously take the memory out because it'd be too hard to solder with that in the way. So we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so we got the first one out here and uh, we did have to straighten more of the pins out there, but it looks pretty good. Other than that, I'm gonna mark it here, high, low ROM. So that way I don't get corn fused. And just making sure the socket looks pretty good there and it does. And we got the second one out. This came out actually a little easier. I uh, have this little hook tool. If I had found that on the first one, I would have had it out lickety split there. But anyway, got them both out. So I got the uh, one marked. I'm going to mark the other one here. We can set this down on here. We're not going to push it down all the way. We're just going to uh, just kind of get a proximity here where everything is going to go here. get this to line up here. There we go. All right, those do all line up very good. And I'm just, I just got that here sitting here just, just for the time being there. So now this is where our header is. And so our wires, we're going to plug in like so. But we will take, uh, let's see, we'll get rid of this one here because we only need three. All right. So I got to kind of see where we need these need. I need to kind of see where these are going to go here. So you can kind of see that uh, we got lots of uh, extra wire here. And so we're going to trim them down. But what we'll do first is we will uh, cut them and solder them up first. And then we'll actually attach them to the pins of the CPU there. Okay, so we got our wires all uh, cut here, all soldered, up, all soldered up on the ends there. So now we are ready to attach these on the uh, processor. So before I can do that, though, I'm going to pull this uh, memory chips out here because they are going to be in the way. And we're going to solder these on there. And hopefully uh, that's going to be the last step in this process. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to solder on the RW wire first. 
that's going to be the green one here. And so what we're going to do is we have to put some solder on that pin and then attach that. Well, as you can see, we finally got that one put on there. That's a certain way you got to do that. You got to actually get a little solder on the leg of that chip on that. Okay, so we got our wires soldered on there. Uh, I'll tell you, that's kind of a hard thing to get on there. Because I bridged it one time and I had to go back and do it again. But anyway, they're on there. They're not real pretty looking, but they're on there. They're not gonna. They're not gonna come off. So anyway, let's uh, start putting the uh, Rominator PC board on there. Okay, so that is down all the way. That's kind of a scary thing to put on there. Try not to bend any of those pins there. But we got it all down there. So now what we got to do is hook up our wires here. Now we're going to look, be careful of is make sure none of our wires are shorting out. And they are not. Very good. So that should give us the clearance to slip right underneath the board there. The ROM chips are going to go back in here. And then we'll be ready to put the new ROM in it and to test it. So let's do that. Let's uh, put our memory back in it. Okay, got the memory back in it. So now what we got to do is we have to put the um, Rominator RAM in it. And we're going to go with the uh, system 6.8 right here. We got our choice. We can do 6.8 or 3.2. But we're going to do uh, this one here. So we're going to grab the high one here. Make sure a little indent there is facing the right way. Okay, so we got this one in. Now we're going to put the uh, low one in. Make sure the pins aren't bent on this here. That looks good. And again, we're going to orient it. The little notch side matches up with the notch on the uh, PCB board here. And again, we're just going to have to uh, kind of make sure that uh, all these are kind of going in evenly here. All right, so we got that chip in there. Yeah, was just, this row was a little bit wider, so I had to bend the whole row in a little bit, and it just dropped right in there, so we're good. So we are done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put it back into Mac Plus, and hopefully uh, it boots up fine. Hopefully there's no smoke or anything. We will find out. I'll get it back together, and we'll do a live test on it. And I just want to show you that that board fits just in there, just a little bit here. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit here, if I can zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And it clears. It slides right in there. So that's a real good fit. It doesn't run into anything. So let me finish putting it back together, and we'll do a live boot. Okay, so we have the Rominator installed. So now we're going to see if it works. Hopefully it does. So anyway, I'm going to flip the button here on the back and let's find out. And get right back here. And three, two, one. Uh, that wasn't good. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, this is going to have to be a continued video. I'm going to figure out what went wrong. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. You can reach out to me on MeWe and Twitter. And until the next episode of this saga of the Cursed Mac Plus, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.